Now, Parkrun has removed all gender, course and age records from its website amid a row over trans women holding the fastest times in the female categories. Now, the free global running event, which attracts thousands of athletes every weekend, became mired in controversy after allowing biological men to self-identify as females. And this policy change saw trans athlete Lauren Yeska smash the female record in her region with a five-kilometer time of 17.38 minutes. And following the backlash, the organization has decided to hide all data identifying the fastest male and female athletes to complete the course, adding records will not be published going forward. And so enter the fray. Former Olympian Sharon Davis, and she's branded the move cowardly, as she always does on these issues, while some participants have also pulled donations accusing the organization of hiding its stats rather than correcting its gender policy. And this story rears its head wherever it is possible to do. It's not possible to do it at Wimbledon. It's not possible to do it in football. And so where they find a weak spot to do this, it has to be in amateur athletics. And Sharon Davis is saying there should be three versions of records. There should be the men, the women, and the trans, and who can argue with that? We cannot suppress women's sport or indeed the women's place in our society any longer. We can't do this. It's such a shame because I can remember when Park Run was set up and it was such a sort of homely, sweet, yeah. um, you know, sort of a charitable organisation where you had you know, people plotting the course and you had families running with their kids and it was all just to encourage ordinary people like us to get out there, pull on some old trainers and, and go for a run and, and have a chat and maybe meet some new friends and it was also kind of homely and cosy and wholesome and now it's turned... And then, obviously, it has turned into a, a huge organisation mm. It's, it's got sort of monetized. Then it's got, got very, very competitive. And I don't think it was ever really meant to be that no. competitive. But it was a part of the fun. I heard one of the regular competitors, a guy, saying, well, part of the fun, we, we're not professional athletes, but we enjoy running. And part of the fun is looking at the records, you know, trying to get a better uh, time than you did last year. And now that is... Uh, uh, not available to them because of this ridiculous row. I mean, just uh, just sort of don't let uh, trans women run against women. No. Give, the, give them, them a separate category, perhaps. Separate category. I mean, I, I just don't want Park Run, which you're right, started out as this sort of really homely, sort of just normal people get out and run to be the latest battleground on quote-unquote trans issues. It just absolutely doesn't need to be that way. I mean, I think it would be nice for people still to be able to see their records so they can better themselves, so you can have, you know, exactly. competitions against friends. I don't... I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with having a, a women's category, a men's category, and a trans, and a trans yeah, athlete's yeah, yeah. category. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And because... And the thing is, when, when we are talking about... Uh, trans people in sport. For some reason, it's always women's sport that yeah. seems to get the brunt of it. Yeah. Why is it always women's sport? Why is it not men's sport? Yeah, because, and I, think... because I guess if a, 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 a woman be becomes trans, a man, they're not man. likely to be they would better be the than men. men. Not, yeah, win yeah. It's oh. about a man beating <laughs> a, be a woman's record, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, three categories. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But of course, the reason that Park Run won't have done that is because it will have been so terrified about being cancelled exactly. by, you yes. know, various communities, trans communities, but, but by other communities, and being accused of being transphobic. Just will have been terrified. So in, it, because it didn't want to you know, fall foul of those accusations, it took a completely cowardly way out and just said, we just won't print it, it, any it, statistics exactly. at all, which isn't the way forward. But you can understand, you can understand their terror yeah. Of, yeah. of being cancelled. Yeah. I would hope that the sponsors who they've lost could be negotiated back into the situation. They have to have the backbone here. The, the route is to repairing this, is to the money, for a major sponsor, the Nikes, etc., the Adidases and other brands, uh, should be allowed to say, yeah, three categories, that's the rules, and that's where we're going from here. I wonder how many people would actually be in the trans category, though. I mean, it might actually that's be rather thing. a small... Be so Apparently, small. the trans yeah. were dominating all the women's records. Of course. So that's why the row uh, erupted, as it were. So it's a bit... Uh, it's a shame. It's a it shame.